After today, we will have done a Paragon for every single tower in the game, besides support. I mean, for some reason, I can't find like a Spike Factory Paragon or Village or whatever. I mean, I did the Banana Farm and the Engineers in the game already, obviously, but like these three right here, if anyone can find me a Paragon for those three, it would be much appreciated. But yeah, like I was saying, we did a Paragon for all of these, all of these, and all of these, besides the Bomb Shooter. Moab Executioner, get too close and you'll be blown to dust. The picture is actually well made. That looks really sick. It is a little bit more on the expensive side though, $900,000. Oh, never mind. So when I go into an actual game, since I'm doing it on easy mode, it is $765,000. So that saves us a little bit. We are going to be doing this on the new map. I haven't really showcased it yet. I mean, I tried to do it with like the boss balloons, like all boss balloons versus a thousand, whatever. This is an advanced map, so it's going to be harder than normal, but I feel like every day we're getting better at this game. It might not look like it on your guys' end, but I, I feel like I'm getting better. My farms were broken last time, so I'm just now realizing this is not the best map to farm at all like this is bad also these guys are starting to struggle a little bit get them both to a moab mauler and i want to get a village get a radar scanner because they can't hit camos oh yeah black balloons that's not good put these on strong we're gonna take so many leaks this round all right radar scanner there we go we have taken a lot of leaks but we got the primary mentoring now so that should make these a lot more stable i mean we got a sniper too just to help with a little bit of cleanup i, I didn't realize this map was gonna be this annoying i guess better late than never let's uh start farming would you look at that we're actually able to fit a village in here i mean i guess i did a little bit better on the farming than i thought i would but it's just like a really really tight area we have a good amount of money we can get a moab assassin and i think that should be enough to take care of this guy we also got this to a full auto now yeah we're good we're gonna get down one more bomb tower up here i think this is gonna be the one that's gonna be the paragon because i don't know what the range looks like on it but usually it's a lot bigger than just this you know that'll hopefully be able to cover the entrance and then both sides over here this probably wasn't the best map to do it it's not going to be like the highest possible round you can get with it you know let's go ahead and sell this bomb tower we'll get another one right here this is going to be like the uh recursive cluster yeah so bottom path middle path this will be top and cool i think we should be good to go now we're going to do a little magic button time are you ready shabam it's round 60 got the first bfb coming in let's get the moab eliminator all we got to do click the button oh i guess i can't hit them and it's not in range yet click the button come on there we go. I guess I didn't really realize that you can't hit them while they're on the gears, which is pretty annoying. There is a button over here, activate pressure valve. I tried it last time, but I genuinely have no idea what it does. It like scoops them up faster or something. I don't know how that helps in any way. Someone let me know what that does. I, I genuinely have no clue. Let's get the monkeyopolis. We can rebuy these farms. One more magic button. You ready? Yep. There we go. I think it's about time we get the other tier five. So we get balloon crush and bomb blitz. And while we're at it, might as well get primary expertise. And we need to start getting paragon totems down. So we need to max out Geraldo. Here we go. Level 20. Yes, sir. Paragon totem time. Go ahead and get the perma brew. Stupid bitch. Something else I forgot about. The ultra boost. We'll go ahead and get that. And then I need to get down all these paragon totems. Get some more damage going. And we'll do uh, some ultra boosts while we're at it. So we'll speed this up and I'll see you in a minute. All right, with this, now we have 10 times, 10 times, 10 times Ultra Boost, and then 19, oh, that's 18. 19, we need one more Paragon Totem. Just like this, we now have 20, which should be the just the amount we need if we max out the slider all right cool we now have all the sacrifices down this is going to be the final magic button i think i said the last one is going to be it this is the real one bam 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 there's a problem i'm having with this map so like once they get pushed back by the bomb tower it goes back onto the gears so they can't actually shoot at it so watch this takes forever this is sped up we'll go like 10 times speed look at this 25 times speed this is gonna suck it's gonna take a while Oh wait, BAD. It's getting pushed back. Yes. Da -na 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 -na. We don't need you. Don't need you. No, 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 no. All right, let's do it. Moab Executioner. Please just be a degree 100. 99. Are you serious? Oh my God. That means we got to go back and then go back in again. I guess we'll do like one more round all right what about now go ahead and sell everything again come on degree 100 please 99 still oh my god i don't know what i'm missing maybe i should just get like two more paragon totems i'm assuming that'll do it also we have the uh fortified b80 coming in i don't even know if we'll be able to take care of it uh nope nope then resell everything once again <laughs> please 
Please, a hundred. Yes, the Paragon totems actually worked. We got a degree 100. This is like the first time that the Paragon actually looks like the picture. And I love that. It never does, but this looks so cool. The only problem is the range is tiny. Like I thought it was going to be way bigger than that. So once again, we got to leave the game and we got to upgrade a different one. I have a good idea actually. So we're going to get down to Shinook, right? Okay, watch this. So we Shinook this guy down. We sell the Shinook and then we go. Come on, degree 100 again. Yes. Oh, baby. That's attacking really, really fast. <laughs> the knockback's crazy. It took care of the fortified BAD. That's what we love to see. Look at the back, too. That's cool. Okay, non-fortified BAD. Damn. That is quick. You might be like, damn, that attack speed is really slow. It's not. It's because of these, like, sprockets I was talking about. I don't know what the pressure valve does. Please, make it, like, make it better. I don't know. But I assure you, it is very fast attacking. I have a solution. So this guy is massive, and these guys are teeny. I think that's going to make it so we can actually see what's going on. And it comes equipped with cluster bombs. What more could you ask for? Let's go a little bit further. How about round 150? They're coming in, getting paused. And the knockback is ridiculous. I think that's the one thing that's going to like set this apart. If we're not going against BADs, there's no way any of these things are ever going to get past. Like actually, it could be round like a thousand and it'll still probably knock them back. 150 was easy. What about like the uh, round 200? It's going to be two fortified BADs coming in. Just like these right here getting taken a lot of hits and we lost okay that map sucks asshole let's go ahead and get the degree 100 paragon in sandbox also i love big towers <laughs> look at those okay get down the sacrifices it's gonna take a sec all right here we go degree 100 come on perfect did it right let's just try round 200 again so it's coming in and the damage is going up pretty good. I feel like this thing is like somewhat balanced. I don't know. It really doesn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. But I guess depending on the map, it can take care of it. Just like that. Both fortified BADs are down. 250. There we go. Okay, so what I've concluded from this is that it is not very good at like single target damage. But if we did like actual round 250 with all the ZUMGs and everything. Yeah, see, it takes care of it, no problem. It's tradition around here, we gotta do it. Tier five elite Blunarius, we always see. Can every Paragon take care of it? Blunarius is so teeny, you can't even see him. The damage is going up, we're already at six million. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. 20 million, we are halfway there already. This is going down quick. Exactly like I've been saying a hundred times, it really shines against group balloons, not single target. Since Blunarius moves really slow, it's able to beat it down and everything that pops out just gets destroyed by the cluster bombs. There we go, 43 million and it is down. But it was fun, we only have a few more Paragons left and then we're gonna do every single one at once. So yeah, thanks for watching, adios.